So I finally got one of the season's pinnacle weapons, the Windigo GL3. This weapon has to be one of the grossest weapons introduced so far, with people using this weapon to even cheese Riven herself. So how do you get it? First, pick up the bounty from Zavala, and from there get ready for a lengthy grind. You have to get 1500 final blows and 500 multi kills and earn points with grenade launchers and you earn points by killing enemies with grenade launchers but you can lose progress if you die and you have to do all of this within the strike playlist so no nightfall or choosing a specific strike from the map so the way i did it was equipping equipping three grenade launchers the first one being the malicious birthright which is a nightfall specific reward for completing the lake of shadows or if you're really good you can use mountaintop those two, I think, are the only primary grenade launchers off the top of my head that I can remember. Secondary, we have a few choices you can pick from, like Fighting Lion or Wings Maul from Iron Banner, Flash and Thunder, or Truth Teller if you were here for the faction rallies. For Heavy, you do have more choices like Play of the Game, Outrageous Fortune, Edge Transit, and for Exotics, you have Tr Prospector, Colony, or Anarchy if you got lucky enough in the Scourge of the Past. What I ended up going was with Malicious Birthright for my primary, Fighting Lion for my secondary, and Outrageous Fortune for my Heavy. I'm not gonna lie, it was very time consuming doing this, it's gonna take you a while, but as it should because this is a seasonal weapon so it should take you not all season but it should take you a while so like if you're gonna do this all in one day like i did don't bitch about it because you're doing it all you're, you already get it but if you want to power through it like me and my friend did then what you'll have to do is get into the strike playlist and just go through each strike and wait until you get it unless you're more into cheese then what you'll have to do is find a team so go find a team this makes it so much easier, I promise you. So now that you find your team, go into the strike playlist and wait until you get the corrupted strike. Though the one in the Dreaming City, the only one in the Dreaming City. This may take you a while, but once you do have it, go to the blind well and just do that until you're done. No, seriously, I'm not kidding. You're gonna be doing blind well for hours. But this is the fastest way to do it unless someone else finds a faster way. So now that I have this gun, and I've used it in strikes, gambit, pvp, etc, etc, what do I think about it? Is it any good? Well, my answer is, this shit is fucking bananas. Let's talk about it, let's talk about this gun. So, this gun has blinding grenades, and the main perk is called explosive light, which basically means that when you pick up orbs of light, the next grenade's blast radius and damage are increased. You get six charges of this. Even if you don't have ammo, you'll still pick up uh, lights. So, because apparently my friend got confused when we explained it to him, so I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna really dumb it down right now. So, each, each orb of light equates to one explosive light. So once you shoot one, that takes that one charge away. So you have six, because you have six in your magazine so you can basically just have six rounds of explosive light which is fucking gross the damage is really good and with a blinding effect effect as well this makes it really gross i'm gonna go off the script here for a bit because i have actually used this gun more now because i wrote this script ages ago so i have used this to cheese riven to do the raid the new raid to do Scourge of the Past, I've done a lot with it. Let me tell you guys, cheesing Riven with this gun has literally inspired my whole raid team, aside from the me and my friend who got it, it, it inspired them to get this gun. That's how gross it was. We were doing so much fucking damage towards Riven that it was gross. I literally had to go take a shower after, that's how bad it was. We did it with Scourge of the Past, which was fun. It did not do as well with uh, the Diva Titan thing. It didn't do that much against him. So that kind of sucked. Or maybe we just hit him wrong somehow, even though I shot him right in the fucking face, but whatever. I've used it in PvP more. Uh, I 
So, my issue with it in PvP is that it doesn't kill a Guardian outright without explosive light. So, that bugs me a little. It should not take me two shots to kill a Guardian with a grenade launcher. But, there I am. But it does blind them, so like, that's cool. But, I do kind of wish that it transferred better to PvP. And overall, I've been doing strikes. Gambit, Gambit especially is fucking gross. Oh my god, let me talk about it, guys. This is nasty. Especially, like, if you get a really bulky fucking boss, like the Meatball, or let's say an, o an Ogre. Though they're going down. They're going down immediately, especially if I have six shots, and then I have more lights, like, remaining. Let me tell you, they're going down. They're going down. Like, that's how bad this is. I think the only negative I can give this gun, and it's like just how the gun works, I can't really bitch about it, is you have to be really careful with explosive light charges. So what I mean by that is it'll eat your molts of light. So even if you have your super, those molts of light will be eaten by your grenade launcher. Even if your grenade launcher is already packed with those, with those six shots, it's, it'll still keep eating them. So, I would say be careful with that because I I noticed that like, while I was doing blind well, unrelated to me actually getting this grenade launcher, but when I was doing blind well for the from the powerful gear, every time I ran through modes of light, like twenty of them, I ate them all without even thinking, because you know, I, it's just such a new concept that I didn't really think about it. So. Other than that, this gun's fucking gross. Hands down, you should get this gun right now. This gun is such a valuable asset when it comes to cheesing, strikes, raid bosses, uh, raid in general. It does such a good job doing everything that it, I'm never erasing this gun. I'm never going to dismantle this gun. I finally have a wep uh, heavy weapon that I will never destroy aside from 21% delirium. And it's it's awesome. It's it's it feels so good that the Vanguard finally gave us a good pinnacle weapon. Not saying loaded questions a bad gun. I just personally don't like it. I don't like the playstyle of it. But I can see why people think it's good, which is why I don't think it why I'm not saying it's a bad. Oxygen SR3 though, that shit's garbage. It needs to get a buff because shit's garbage. Buff it. But Loaded Question and this one, both are good. Loaded Question, I've been hearing a lot of good things. This is not a Loaded Question review, just saying. Don't come at me. Loaded Question's really good, Tony. You're just a piece of shit for your player. Whatever. I'm not saying it's bad. I just don't like how it plays. I don't like the play style of it. But, with that being said, what do you guys think about the Wendigo? Is it worth the praise that, that it's gotten? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on my social media outlets. Links are in the description below. And I will see you guys later.